But uh, we're going to start in the Times and sacked Jose has plenty left to offer, just not in England. So, um, Jason, I mean, the fact that not a lot of um, Jose appearing on the back pages might suggest that his star is on the wane because Jose getting sacked used to be box office news. Yeah, ab absolutely right. And um, obviously, when we, we, we heard this news this morning, there was questions being asked, does this mean he's going to make a return to the to Premier League? I just cannot see it whatsoever. In saying that, I was actually quite surprised he got the Roma job, uh, to be honest with you, because when I thought after he left Tottenham, I, I really felt that was his last chance at a, a big club, really. Um, but he went and did, went to Roma, obviously won trophies again, um, but hasn't performed well enough in, in, in the league in, in Serie A. Uh, talks about the fact that he doesn't have much money to spend, but actually has the third highest uh, wage bill in, in Serie A. But, but there we go. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the future holds for him, really. I know he's had big offers to go to Saudi Arabia. I can't see a major club in England, in Spain, in Italy, in Germany, anywhere else really looking at him now. I know he's hankered up to the Paris Saint-Germain job been many times before. He's not going to get that either. So I'm not quite sure what the future holds for him, really. Um, I think his trajectory has been on the way <coughs> or on the way down for a very, very long time. I'm going to show my age here. I was actually at the press conference in 2004. <laughs> you talked about being a special one, and it was electric. That was absolutely incredible when, when he when he walked in the room and spoke. And at that point, in those in those years after that, he had everyone eaten out of his hand. With the, not just with the way he behaved, but with with the football he played as well. But but since then, unfortunately, it's it's been very very different. And now it's really just one combustible episode after another. He's loved it by the Roma fans, but mainly because of his behaviour rather than the football he yeah. produced. And I, I really struggle to see where he goes from here. Maybe it is to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I mean, Saudi Arabia, I guess, Miguel, is, is the obvious choice, perhaps international football. I mean, is, is, is his legacy intact, given he's won, I think, something like 26 titles? He's won everything in Europe, Champions League twice. He's won domestic titles, domestic cups. But what's next for Jose? Yeah, I mean, the one thing I was thinking, maybe, with the time left until the Euros... Uh, whether some international federation takes a punt. Uh, because, I mean, while I think most modern football departments and directors of football would basically think that Mourinho's style isn't what they want, international football isn't as advanced. There's always, of course, directors that just will be charmed by Mourinho's personality and what he represents. Uh, so I think that's potentially... He could maybe have more success there as well. And, of course, it's one area of the game he hasn't tried. So, I mean, the question then is which job opens up and what we would see if he would what would appeal to him there's always been that sense that he might want to take try and take portugal at some point um but they, to to win the world cup they already broke the Ducker international trophy of course in 2016 um so m maybe that's one opening with the time left but it'll take a a few things to align otherwise he may have to consider saudi arabia which i mean would represent a huge coup for a league that has suddenly been a little bit quieter as regards big signings this january